by popular demand, here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. This week's mashup is out of this world. We have put together a few crafts to help your dolls reach for the stars. From our galaxy-inspired bedroom to the TARDIS, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. From the Barbie Collector Black Label Collection, these are the dolls from the movie Divergent, a science fiction film that takes place in the future. Speaking of the future, we thought it would be fun to turn four into the 10th Doctor. I'm gonna start by messing his hair up on top. It's not as dark as I would like, but I think it'll work. Carefully pour hot water over the hair to loosen the curls. Brush them smooth with a toothbrush. Add a little conditioner and trim off any stray hairs. Use fingernail polish remover to remove some of the paint from his top lip to make his lips look thinner. Use craft paint to add sideburns. Using fabric and some ideas from our doll lab coat video, we place the doll on a folded piece of fabric, trace around him using enough space for a seam allowance, make a small circle for the neck, open it up and lay it flat to finish the circle, Draw a line down the center from the circle to the end of the fabric. Cut another rectangle of fabric, place it on top. Sew a straight line around the line drawn. Cut between the lines sewn. Turn the fabric over the edge, then fold it in half. Flip it so the good side is facing down. Then fold over and hem the sleeves. Then fold it in half, allowing the center to overlap. Then sew down the sides. Try it on the doll and take it in where needed. Sew on snaps to close the shirt. Attach a collar, just like we did in the lab coat video. Tie a piece of ribbon around his neck to make a tie. We made a pair of pants using our swimsuit video, only this time we made the shorts longer. And instead of using ribbon for a drawstring, we sewed on snaps. I begin making the lab coat again, this time with an elongated semicircle. Then follow the rest of the instructions to make a jacket. Repeat using a brown fabric, making the neckline even longer. After flipping it over the edge, sew on the collar from one corner to the other. Then finish to make the trench coat. So using our lab coat video, we were able to make the shirt, a jacket, and a trench coat. We just changed the neckline for the different garments. Now to finish him off, we're gonna add a few more details, like buttons on the jacket and the coat. Fold over pieces of fabric, sew them on for pockets. Use an iron to reinforce the creases. We took a pair of shoes for Ken, repainted them with acrylic paint to make his shoes. Take a toothpick, cut it down to size, wrap it with strips of paper, using glue to secure the ends, paint it, glue a bead on the end to make a sonic screwdriver. Add a pair of 3D glasses from one of our previous videos, and you're done. Happy customizing. I am going to make a police box for a doll using recycled cardboard, acrylic paint, white tissue paper, recycled paperboard, printables from our blog, clear plastic from packaging, paper, and glue. I start by cutting cardboard that is larger than my doll. Draw two rectangles near one end, cut them out, repeat to make three, cut cardboard to make two squares, then stack and glue them together, Glue the rectangles around three sides of the square. Plan out a design for the box. Cut paperboard into strips. Glue the strips in place according to the design. Build up the sides by stacking a few layers of paperboard. Fold over a piece of paperboard to make the corners clean. Cut a piece of cardboard that can lay on top. Cut a set of squares that are slightly smaller. Stack and glue them on top. Cut another set that is even smaller and glue on top. Cover the raw edges with strips of paperboard. 
Cut and glue together strips of paperboard. Glue them to the top. Use glue to fill in any raw edges. Paint it. Bring out the detail by adding black to the corners. And I'm just lightly dry brushing it. I add a few more finishing touches by adding a base. After the inside has been completely painted, cut thin strips of cardstock. Glue them across the windows. Cut rectangles of clear plastic. Apply a clear drying glue onto the plastic. Cover with tissue paper. Lightly brush it with more glue. Glue them inside with the plastic side facing down. Glue strips of cardstock over the edges. Now that the inside is done, add another stack of paperboard connecting the sides. Cut out the printable labels from our blog. Glue them on. Roll the leftover paper from the printable around a toothpick. Glue on strips of cardstock. Take a circle of cardstock and make a small cut up to the center. Overlap the sides to make a cone. Glue it on top. Glue it to the center of the lid. Place the lid on top. Place a flashlight inside for a little fun to give the windows a glow. Glue on a painted piece of paperboard for the handle and you're done. Happy crafting! to make a galaxy inspired doll room using a recycled box. Extra paperboard, felt, acrylic paint, navy blue or purple fabric, scrapbook paper, sticker gems, and glue. I start by cutting open one side of the box. Remove the tabs at the top, reinforce the outside of the box by gluing on another layer of paperboard, glue together more paperboard to extend the wall. Glue on paper to connect them. To make the walls for the room, cover them with scrapbook paper or paint them with acrylic paint. I'm starting with a black base coat. I tear off a piece of a sponge. I filled my palette with fuchsia, light blue, royal blue, navy blue, teal and purple, and a touch of white and black. Begin sponging on the blue Add a little pink. Continue adding more colors to add shading, making clouds of dark and light colors. And I make a few little ribbons of white. Then just blend it in. Then a few large circles. Add small white dots and a few stars to make a galaxy. Now this is painted on the outside of our box. On the inside, we painted the walls purple and made a galaxy on the side. Cut thin strips of paper, glue them around the galaxy and then add small strips to make a window. Cut a piece of paperboard, cover with scrapbook paper, including the bottom of the box to make the floor. Find a box that can fit inside, cut off one side, glue it onto the other side, Glue leftover paperboard onto the sides. Cover with paper to make a platform. Cut felt to fit on top. Trace it onto fabric. Cut it out leaving a border. Sew a straight line on the line drawn, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. Place the felt inside, then sew it closed to make a mattress. To make the bedding, we use the same galaxy painting technique on fabric. Matched it with a solid color for the other side. Cut a single layer of fleece or felt. Then we continued, just like the mattress, to make a comforter. Make them smaller and fill them with fluff to make pillows. And since this is a space-themed room, we painted a few sci-fi pillows. Cut and cover a smaller box with paper. Cut paperboard or cardboard. Cover with paper. Glue one to the bottom to the top, a few on front, to make a dresser. And we cut out the back for a hidden storage place. Cut a star out of paperboard, paint it black, then silver, place sticker gems around the edge, 
glue a strip of paper around the outside edge to make marquee stars. Use leftover paperboard to make art by gluing a few layers together, cover with paper, make a constellation on a piece of cardstock using sticker gems and paint. Glue it on top, glue on strips of paper for the frame, then attach it to the wall. We add our ottoman poof from a previous video, a mini TARDIS that we found at Barnes & Noble. We added glow-in-the-dark paint to our doll lightsaber, then placed it in the room. And these Star Wars Micro Machines are the perfect size to look like models for the dolls. There are even mini figures so the dolls can have their own action figures. We even use a pop keychain for a little extra sci-fi fun. I even found a wind-up toy for R2-D2 at the Disney store, creating the perfect room for a sci-fi loving doll. And when playtime is over, the smaller accessories can fit inside the dresser, the dresser and bedding fit under the bed, and everything goes inside the box. Until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting! Listen to the midnight radio. finished making our galaxy themed doll room. It's still set up from our little photo shoot. And yes, we found out that pull-ups can fit Project MC Squared dolls clothing almost perfectly. So yay! And the comments are already coming in asking us how did we paint the Doctor Who pillow. So I am going to attempt to paint this again. I say attempt because for some reason I can never paint the same thing twice. I don't know why that is, but we are going to try. So this is our, this is us trying. And I'm using acrylic paint. We'll put down new paint because this is all dry. A little piece of paperboard so that I have a clean surface. And some fabric. And this is just an inexpensive cotton fabric. I cut a square of fabric. Before I start painting, I like to iron it to get all the wrinkles out. Then I tape it onto the paperboard because the paint will bleed through. Fabric is very porous. So to protect my surface, I use a little piece of paperboard. On the palette, we have all of the colors from the galaxy, like fuchsia, light blue, Mediterranean blue, real blue, turquoise, uh, purple, navy blue, white and black. I'm using a little tiny paintbrush and a sponge. First we have to paint the background so I'm going to use a little bit of blue and the sponge and just start painting the background. Which is remember is supposed to look like a galaxy so it's galaxies pretty much just look like pink and blue clouds so there's really no wrong way to do this. going to add a planet so I'm just gonna make a little circle here and we want the planet to look round so we're gonna add a little shading you want it to be darker on one side and lighter on the other so a little navy blue on the very back end then add a little black on the other side I'm gonna make a larger planet so I have a little bit of white paint And when you're painting larger areas, you can always switch to a larger brush. It'll help to make it go a little bit faster. Now I use a little white paint to make the stars. Completing our galaxy. Now let's start on the TARDIS. Using some blue paint, I make a rectangle. 
I'm gonna do it right, I want it overlapping my little plant here, so I'm gonna just start it right here. And I fill it in, paint a line across the top. Then I make eight little boxes inside. And you can just really just start with like a, a little L shape. And I can already see that it's gonna be a little too small, so I'm gonna have to add on to my rectangle. Use black paint for the side, and I angle the top edge down, and I angle the bottom edge up. Draw a line to connect them, then fill it in. I'm just gonna use a little paint to try to look like there's like a nebula or cloud behind it. That's better. Now I can add a thick line of black underneath the side, then I add a blue line across the bottom. And I'm making the platform. Use black for a little shading. And the wonderful thing about paint is if you make a mistake, you just wait till it dries and then you can go back and fix it. You can just paint right over it and then try again. Begin defining the lines by adding some colors, like some brighter blues, darker blues, like navy blue and black for the shadows giving each little square attention, using a lighter color for highlights. Add stair steps on the top, and you want the stair steps to match the side that they are on. Then we make a little black box across the top. Use white paint to make the light at the top. Use black for details. Use white paint for the windows. I paint a little rectangle in this square. I add a few squiggly lines to give the illusion of words. Use white to add words to the top, allow it to dry, then it can be used to make the pillow. I recommend using a satin or gloss acrylic paint instead of a matte finish because matte tends to crack. And our little pillow is done. It is not exactly like the other one. I mean, it's even like way bigger, but you get the idea. I guess this one can go to our 18 inch dolls. And we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own painted pillows. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a telescope for a doll using computer paper, construction paper, a toothpick or a wooden dowel, acrylic jewels, ribbon or braiding cord, Mod Podge, and glue. Using a wooden dowel or a toothpick, I start by rolling the paper into tubes. I use glue to secure the ends, remove the wooden dowel or toothpick, Repeat to make three. I make another tube that is a little shorter than the previous three. I make it thicker by rolling on more sheets of paper. I rolled a total of five pieces of paper. I rolled on a small piece of black construction paper, followed by a shorter piece of yellow. Make that two. Add a few layers of black to the end. I glue a jewel to the wide end of the telescope that is the same size. I add a few more layers of black just above the jewel, make a smaller tube of black paper, rolling different size layers. I glue jewels to the ends and wrap the large side with extra paper just as before. Glue another small tube to the side, then glue it near the small end of the larger tube. Make another tube, glue a jewel to one end, wrap it with more paper, add another shorter layer, glue it to the end, Cut a small circle of paper to cover the end. I wrap the ends of the white tubes with black paper. Make three more small tubes. Begin gluing the small black tubes and the white tubes together to make a tripod. I wrap another piece of paper around the main tube. Make a short wide tube for the focusing knob and glue it onto the eyepiece. Glue it onto the tripod and the construction is complete but I am going to coat it in a layer of Mod Podge to give it a nice finish. 
Using the same ideas, I can make binoculars by rolling two same size tubes, glue an acrylic jewel to one end, wrap it with another piece that covers the jewel, make two small tubes, glue them near the end with the jewel, wrap a long strip of paper around both tubes. I begin wrapping the other end with paper, adding different size layers, glue an acrylic jewel over the end, add more paper to cover the jewel, make another tube to glue between them, cover it with a layer of Mod Podge, glue a piece of cord or ribbon to the sides, make it bigger or smaller to fit almost any size doll, and you're done. Happy crafting! For joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below comment share and subscribe follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye